all of you that have never been on the passenger seat of a drifting car um, the thing about that is uh, if you're at the steering wheel ooh, ooh. this motherfucker is <laughs> Okay, we just hit a cone. Uh, thing is, when you're at the steering wheel, um, you know what you do and you know what will happen somehow. Um, and when you're in the co-driver's seat, you get just like thrown around um, and you have no idea what comes next. I mean, you see the corner, but you don't really can um, sort out when the car will spin and all that. So I think one more round and then I'm like, I'm done. Otherwise, I'm gonna get car sick at some point. Wow! Oh man! So, guys, uh, that was my first drifting. <laughs> As I says, it's cool. Uh, my first drifting experience. It was great fun. It was really cool. I hope the um, outside GoPro like pictures are great as well. So, I uh, see you guys when we go to the paddock again. So now we did uh, the short little run on the drift track, it was really cool, I feel a bit sick, I gotta admit I feel a bit sick after like 10 rounds in this, um, but look what has showed up just next to us, a Speciale Aperta, not the biggest Ferrari fan, but that one is a seriously cool car and it grew in value like nuts, really good, let's just show you around that car. And I love the interior. The interior is awesome. It's all Alcantara. So nice. Two tone, black and brown, red stitching. This is a strong spec game, actually. Love it. Because I really, I wouldn't take it in red though. And I probably would do it to stripe less, but still the car is amazing. Aventador just made a little bit of noise. That is really a loud car. It's utterly loud. I don't know if you can even hear me, but that is oh, serious stuff. So because there's so many cars here and I can't show them all in one video, otherwise it would be like 60 minutes long, um, I'll do a little serious, um, which will be like uh, the coolest cars I find on the event. is um, the very cool Riviera, I don't know, blue something um, 
Apex 675 LT. So that is a really a seriously cool car. And now we are in the 550 plus event area. So they have their own stand here. And of course, there's some very familiar cars that we already have seen on the previous event, which was uh, in Dusseldorf at the High Regency. Um, and let's just see what cool cars they have got there. There is still the very cool R8 from my friend Sancho. Diablo VT, which we have seen before. By far one of the most expensive cars here at the show is uh, the Ferrari F12 TDF behind me. TDF actually for Tour de France. Really cool car, it's like it's some, some matte grey khaki something. Um, not really my like perfect spec I think, but still a very very cool car which draws a lot of attention. So guys, we're about to leave. The whole thing is starting to cool down and we're gonna get all the cars sorted out. So which cars, where to go. Um, and so we're about to leave. I'm currently in the MH5 800 in the flagship one. And um, yeah, we'll just have a very, I don't know, maybe fast, maybe relaxing drive back home. So guys, that was it. That was the spring event at the airport Weze and it was amazing. We did the drifting and the others did uh, the quarter mile and actually just blew an AMG GTS with only one person inside and they were with the MH3 550 uh, with four people inside and they blew that guy just like into the middle of last week um, and the really coolest thing for me today and sadly I don't have it on camera was that I got to drive the X5M um, back home and that was a really really cool thing um, and on that I think it's just about to end today's video. I hope you guys liked it If you did hit the subscribe button and um, I see you guys next time